hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to serve selected data from a drop-down list into a SQL server using C sharp ASP.NET I'm switch backing to the browser I'm selecting the drop-down list I'm choosing Fort insert record Here I got a message selected record saved successfully. Let's check in the table also. I'm running this command execute and notice here the card name Ford is saved in this table card. Before writing the coding part, let's create a table go to databases expanding that and sample db is a user database I'm expanding that one and as well as I'm expanding the tables also now I'm creating a new table in this tables folder right click the table new table and the column name is car ID the data type is integer uncheck the allow null values and I want to make this column ID auto generate column identity specification is identity s now the second column name is car name varcar 50 uncheck the allow nulls I am saving this file car click ok and the car table is created just refresh this table and notice here we got the table dbo.car right click the car select top thousand rows and if you notice in the results the car ID and car name the values are null which means zero rows at this moment in this card table now I'll write the code in C sharp a user can select the drop down values the car models and save in this table dbo.car let's open visual studio.net for this video tutorial I have created a new project go to solution explorer and the project name is insert iPhone dropdown I'm creating a new web form page in this project right click the project name add new item in the web section I'm choosing web form the page name I'm giving select car is the page name click add and here the new page select card.aspx page which we have created just now and this page contains a simple HTML5 call now between the form tag in the do I'm adding select car model I'm adding here drop down list control for that go to toolbox the drop down list double click that one and here the drop down list is added now insert the drop down list I'm adding ASP item value is equals to 0 select cards list item Hurry. let's copy this Honda
fort for this demo purpose i have added only three list items now after the drop down list control i'm adding one button control and the text is insert records insert record and the id i'm changing to but one after that the i'm adding one label control i'm adding little control to display the message the record is saved successfully or not on the browser up to now we have just added the controls on the source code now the second step we need to configure the connection strings in the web.config file server explorer data connections right click that one add connections the server name is user I'm selecting the database name which is the sample DB click OK and notice here in the server explorer under data connections we have just created the sample DB dot DBO connection right click that one go to properties under the connection the connection string property here just copy that whole part open the solution explorer open the web.config file in the configuration I'm adding connection strings add name the name I'm giving my connection is a connection name connection string which is the data source the property I'm adding here the connection string property and the provider name which is a SQL server so I'm adding the namespace system dot data dot SQL client after adding the connection string in the web dot config file open the design mode source mode switch to the design mode double click the insert record and here we got the button click event I'm, I'm adding the namespaces to access the SQL server classes using system dot data using system dot configuration using system dot data dot SQL client after adding these three namespaces in the button click event string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I'm adding the connection string name which is my connection add here dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL new SQL connection takes the parameter this variable main con string SQL query is equals to insert into the table name which is dbo.car copy this paste here the column name is the car name add this one values at the car name SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command which takes two parameters one is a SQL query the insert statement and the second parameter which is a SQL connection 
Now SQL com dot parameters dot add with value between double quotes I'm adding at car name comma the object here is a drop down list ID value drop down list one dot drop down list one dot selected item dot value SQL con dot open method int i is equals to SQL command dot execute non query method if i is not equals to zero which means we have selected the value from the drop down list I want to display the message literal one dot text is equals to selector record save successfully else just copy this one if record is failed to insert fail to insert the records I'm closing the connection string close method that's it let's check the output on the browser Google Chrome and here we got the output from the select card.aspx page the label select card model the drop down list Audi Honda and Ford before selecting the car models let's check my table right now in this card table which contains zero rows let's insert values into this table I'm switch back into the browser I'm selecting the drop down list I'm choosing Ford insert record here I got a message selected record saved successfully let's check in the table also I'm running this command execute and notice here the card name Ford is saved in this table card that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos